Hey guys, this is Joe Tech from Amateur Radio and GMRS, and today we have the Surecom SWR meter that we are currently reviewing. There are some pros and cons to this product. The only thing that I see that is inaccurate on this would be the watt meter. If it is off, you can adjust how much more you plus and subtract for wattage and that will however give you better accurate information for reverse power and forward power of the radio depending on how high or low your SWR is so other meters such as the Diamond SX600 which doesn't require any power or whatnot is calibratable is that a word you can calibrate it <laughs> so um, that's one of the things that you can't do with this. This is un, no calibration required. You just, you just plug it in, turn it on, and it works. It's rechargeable and portable. So you have this cool LCD display, and it shows you battery power on the top left. Then it shows you um, how long the product has been turned on for. Uh, below that, the model number of the device, the version of the firmware, the wattage output when you transmit it, the frequency that you are on, so it is also a frequency counter, which is pretty interesting. Um, the transmit percent going out of the antenna, okay, which is kind of cool. Uh, the actual SWR, the VSWR that you're getting from the antenna for matching, there's forward power and then reverse power, so it tells you how much power is actually going back into the radio. In this instance, on 462-600, 0.7331 watts are going back into the radio and 49.3 watts are going out of the radio. That's interesting. <laughs> Wasn't expecting that. Um, I am on GMRS channel 3 at the moment for, for testing purposes. But but other than other than that, um, of the wattage output, I, I'm not a firm believer that this is going to be a end-all, be-all product. So I'm going to give it a four-star. I still think analog still has its place in calibrating antennas. I'd rather see a meter move versus giving a digital display, but that's just me. I mean, the, the only one thing that is negative about it is the power. That's the only thing. Everything else is accurate because I already... I already pre-tuned these antennas already, so I know that they are in the they're under 1.1 SWR. I know that for a fact, and this meter is proving that, and it's showing 1.04, 1.09, so it's close to 1.1, and that's impressive. So what I did on the analog device clearly shows correct on the digital. So on that aspect, it's accurate. It's just the wattage. Is not so if I if you have a 50 watt radio on on well this is a this is a PM 400 that that we're using so it's 45 and 25 so 25 on low and 45 on high however I can't even when I transmit on high with it set to zero for for threshold it doesn't come up with the correct output wattage so if you know what the output wattage is the radio is then set it and then the information that's displayed on the, on the LCD the screen will be accurate. So that's the only downside to this whole product, but other than that, it's fine. I think it's good. It gets the, uh, doesn't get the Joe Tech Tips into an awesome rating, but it does get the Joe Tech Tips four star rating, and that's all I'm gonna give it because of it's non calibratable. Again, I'm not sure if that would be even a word. But anyway, guys, I hope this review. Um, meets to your expectations and you get to see a little bit more detail of the product but um i'm not sure if it's for this environment for gmrs maybe if you want to leave it in line for a ham operator per se maybe but um but just vhf and uhf stuff so anyway guys if you like this video give me a thumbs up if you're not a subscriber please subscribe take care and wills